Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, as you may have guessed. In this video, we're taking a look at the brand new FlyKit mini drone. We interrupt our regularly scheduled program to bring you this new flash from FlyKit. Apparently, FlyKit has updated their product page on Indiegogo, and they are now offering a flash sale package for just $39. $39, so right about $40, and uh, you can get this little guy, which I think that's quite reasonable. In this video, you will hear me referencing the $49 price because that's what it was when I made the video but right now if you check the link in the description you can probably get it for $39 thank you and now we return you to your regular schedule program uh, if you look at the box it says deformed light drone that's kind of a weird name they may want to work on that in any case as always let's do the bottom line up front and then we'll go into more detail in the other stuff so first of all full disclosure Flykit is paying me to make this review now, they're not paying me to, like, say whatever they want me to say, um, but they are compensating for me, uh, compensating me for my time making the review, so I just want you to be aware of that. But as always, I plan to give you an honest and uh, fair review of this product. This is a pre-production model that you see in this video, and it may differ from their production version. Honestly, this is essentially a common toy micro drone, but it has a unique special feature, and that is... A lighted ring spins around the drone as it flies to create a sphere of light effect, which is actually super cool and has a lot of wow factor. Um, and I haven't seen any other drones with this gimmick. There are different light modes to create different patterns, such as solid or chasing or kind of a flowing effect. It's pretty cool. It does seem very durable, having survived many good crashes with only a propeller coming off one time. However, oftentimes the battery door will pop open on impact. Flight time. You get about four minutes uh, with the light ring rotating, and I think that seems pretty good because it's a pretty big ring that needs to rotate. Now, it is very easy to fly with the attitude hold working well most of the time and the three speed or sensitivity settings. Personally, I don't care for the headless or the one key return modes as I have never found them to be very useful or effective on any drone this one included. Note that the flight controls do feel a bit different when the ring is spinning due to the laws of physics and stuff. And it will try to fly forward on its own, which requires that you put in a little bit of backward trim using that back arrow trim button. In the box, it comes with the drone, the controller, which uses three AAA batteries, not included, two flight batteries, USB charger, spare set of propellers, and the manual. And finally, the price. I know you're all asking what the price is. The price, the MSRP is $99. And currently you can you can back it on Indiegogo, essentially placing a pre-production order for as low as $49 per unit. You know, so it depends on what your budget is. I could see $50. To be honest with you, I could see $50 since this is kind of a specialty thing. But ugh, $100, I'm not going to say what you should do with your money. And I'm in the position that mm, I don't want to steer people away unnecessarily. But what I would say is I don't know that that little special feature is worth that extra price to me of $99 per unit. $50, I could see that. I could see that. Bottom line over, let's get more into uh, the, let's let's talk, talk about my experience with it and just show you some cool footage. Flykit, they, they reached out to me a while ago and they said, hey, we got this new product, do you wanna check it out? And to be honest with you, I've been cutting back on my reviews and stuff because I just they, I find they just take way too much of my time and they're not super enjoyable and, and stuff. And, and you know, people think that you get products for free when you do reviews, but you really don't. You get products in exchange for your time and effort in making a video and all that stuff. And sometimes, you know, they, they want you to say good things just because they're giving you free stuff. But uh, in any case, so I haven't been doing many reviews, but I saw this one and I said, hey, that's actually kind of cool. Because like, look, I've seen a lot of drones. I get a lot of different companies and they're like, hey, try out our, you know, random Amazon drone. It's super amazing and i'm like man it's not amazing Mo like most of the drones on amazon 
are are the same and they're pretty awful and and the marketing is ridiculous i'm getting off on a tangent anyway so i saw this one and i said hey that actually might be worth reviewing because that's pretty neat i haven't seen that before so i got it you know they sent it to me i got it and then when i turned that thing on i don't think i have it on video of my first experience with it but i was like whoa that's so cool and that's because it is really cool it's actually very very cool uh to see it um, lighting up and you can change the light modes and you can start the ring spinning and then you can also just have the ring like vertical and it's kind of cool it looks like some kind of uh some kind of ship from star wars getting it set up and started super simple you turn on the drone you turn on the transmitter you go all the way up on the throttle all the way down on the throttle and then you're bound and then um, this has a altitude hold so it's going to mostly maintain its height um, to what you set it at uh, above the ground um, but sometimes that can get thrown off over like certain surfaces if it's really bright or if it's really dark now it doesn't really have position hold so um, it won't it won't really stay in place but it will uh, mostly stay at the at the same height now when you are flying this and you do start spinning the ring it will want to sort of lurch forward because you have this this uh, motor that's trying to spin the ring and so it, it causes the drone to want to uh, fly forward a lot and so you may need to put in some backwards trim so that's going to be that that little back arrow button next to the right stick but do keep in mind when you stop the spinning the drone will lurch forward again because of how it has to compensate for the for the spinning uh, mass of the ring it can be a little tricky uh, in you know really tight spaces and stuff um, and you might crash it some and speaking of crashing uh, we crashed it quite a bit I had my son fly it uh, and crash it a good bit and it was all right I, th I thought for sure the the ring was gonna break or something like that but it actually seems to protect it pretty well um, I actually crashed it into my uh, the three inch uh, Cinewhoop because I was trying to, to do some air to air flying with it and crashed into it, uh, but it seemed to be okay. And then of course you're gonna get, you know, the same uh, kind of issues with any micro drone uh, flying in the house, you know, hair gets tangled around the uh, propellers and stuff like that. And you may need to swap out the propellers, um, but otherwise it seems okay. There, I did notice a little bit of twitching um, on the light ring some of the time, usually when the drone was on the ground, but nothing that inter interfered with the flight. Now the flight time, uh, they claim about seven minutes of flight time, but my guess is they're just saying maximum fly time. But I, I find you'll get probably closer to three or four minutes uh, with the spinning light ring. And that's kind of the whole point of this drone. So I think that makes more sense to consider the flight time when you're actually getting all the features of the drone and like i said about the headless and the return to home modes or the or the one key return i find those those just don't work very well because first of all it it's not like it has gps or something so it there's there's nothing to tell it where it is in space and put it back where it was supposed to be like for the re return to home but it's basically like it's supposed to fly to the same distance from the transmitter or something like that but i just find it it just m half the time it'll just fly off in in a different direction um, and that's with any micro drone. So I don't even know why well, I do know why I know why they put those features on there so that they can say, Hey, look at all these features that we have, but they're, they're just, they're kind of more of a, 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 I don't know, maybe fun to play around with feature, but it don't actually expect it to come back to you every time. And then headless mode, headless mode means that it doesn't matter which way the drone is facing. If you tell it to go forward, it should go forward as in like away from you. Or if you pull it back, it should come back and left and right as you are facing the drone but i find that a lot of times that does not actually work very well and i'm not sure why but that just seems to be something that doesn't really work well with any of these cheap little micro drones and i really just want to emphasize that the whole light show thing is actually super cool it, it is really very cool it looks super neat i will say this this model that i have it seems like it's it's not very happy when uh, when the when the ring is spinning. It seems like the drone is really having trouble staying stable. It kind of wobbles around a lot. It could be maybe tuned a little bit better. Ah, 
So it's super cool. It's a fun toy drone, you know, and it has those limitations of being a toy drone. You know, some of the features are just kind of eh, more gimmick than anything else. But here's the real kicker, okay? And it's the price. It always comes down to price, you know what I mean, with, with these things because it's got to be worth it to you, all right? Now, now the thing is, I don't want to tell you what to buy or not buy or how much to spend but what i will say is that the price that fly kit is suggesting of 99 dollars that seems very high to me and i would imagine that once this actually gets into production that that would not actually be the 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 retail price i just i just don't see it maybe in like I don't know. You could probably see this in like sharper image catalog or some sort of high end place that doesn't really sell drones. They sell like tech gadgets. $50. I could see that. I could see that. Again, that's a little bit on the high side, but I could, you know, there's, there's probably like $30 is what I would expect for this type of drone without the special light ring feature. So then you figure, okay, well, that's like $20 more for this cool like light ring feature. Well, is it worth it to you? Now, also, I want to note uh, right now, Flykit has launched their Indiegogo campaign for this product. And so that's probably why you're watching this video. So I just want to make you aware that the whole thing with Indiegogo is that it is crowdfunding. You're basically placing a pre-production order. So you are trusting that the company, in this case, Flykit, is going to carry through with your money and and get you that product so i ha i have no reason to believe that fly kit won't do that but i just want you to be aware of that as i would with any crowdfunding type of situation all right i think that does it thanks for watching everybody if you have questions about this leave a comment down below and uh, i will try to answer them or maybe fly kit can jump in here i don't know if they're like on youtube or not and if you have one of these yourself leave a comment and uh, let us know what you think of it or uh, or if you would recommend it to somebody else thanks for watching everybody have a fantastic day get out there and fly something and i will see you again very soon See you there. Oh, my name is Adam.